PewDiePie is the most subscribed single creator on this platform, but he rarely flaunts his wealth. So there's a lot of speculation as to how much he's actually worth. Forbes has estimated how much PewDiePie makes before, when they do their annual highest paid YouTuber list. But the number actually published by Forbes every year does not account for a lot of things. That number is an estimate. So how much is PewDiePie actually worth? I will tell you like soon, just like wait a second, I have to introduce myself because this is a YouTube video and that's how things work, okay? So hi, welcome back to Inform Overload, we do the news and spill the tea and net the worth. My name is Charlotte Del Rey and I want you guys to take your best guess at what my net worth is down there in the comments. I actually don't really know what my net worth is, I just want you guys to guess because I'm curious what you'd say. And no, it's not five dollars. Yo potato queen has assets, okay? Last year, Forbes said that PewDiePie made around $15.5 million. But Forbes might not be right. After all, hardly anyone knows how much he makes from sponsorships, brand deals, and merch. He's been on YouTube for almost a decade. He's a gamer and comedian. So what is net worth for all you financial newbies out there? So your net worth is a combination of what you own, aka your assets, the money you have in the bank, etc., and what you owe, your liabilities. Let's look at some numbers. I hate numbers, except the number seven. But I will break it down for you as simply as possible. PewDiePie's channel gets 180 million views every month. For those of you who aren't creators, you get around $7.50 for every 1,000 views, if your video is monetized. Felix is believed to make around $1 million a month from views alone, but that number could be a lot closer to $4 million a month, according to the Wall Street Journal. That makes him the sixth highest paid YouTuber in the world. But this number does not account for the sponsorships, brand deals, and merch that regularly sells out. Oftentimes, YouTubers and influencers make more money on collaborations with big brands than they actually make doing videos. Felix is sponsored by gaming companies, the company that makes his chair. Only $3.99. And his merch is around 50 bucks a pop. He also released a book called This Book Loves You in late October of 2015. There also could be other things too, investments and assets, properties that we don't know about. I actually know quite a few YouTubers who have invested in several properties for when they don't want to be YouTubers anymore. It's kind of a way of making money without actually doing anything to earn it. Property and investments increase in value literally while you sleep. You also gotta consider the fact that Felix also spends money. Not a lot of it from what most people can tell. Every time he buys a luxury item, which isn't that often, he posts it online. He has a team of editors and who knows how many other people are on his payroll. Let's also not forget that PewDiePie donates a considerable amount of money to charity. Assuming Felix actually saves his money and doesn't owe anything, according to Business Times, by 2018 PewDiePie's net worth is somewhere between 30 to 50 million dollars. Coed predicts that at the beginning of 2018 he was worth 61 million from the combined earnings of 124 million since 2010. Another outlet, Frag Hero, puts his net worth at 30 million. That number is supposed to include all the money he's made from ads, brand deals, affiliate relationships, and branded merch. It's pretty crazy to think that Felix is worth that much, or any YouTuber could be worth that much. But I guess that's why so many people want to be YouTubers. If you make it, there are big rewards. So are you surprised by that number? Do you think it should be more or less? Let me know in those comments. For now, it is comment time! Gaming LDM said, hey, thanks for doing my suggestion. I am literally screaming. Thank you for always being there for your fans. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. And potatoes. Luna Gem said, I got distracted by the background. I had to rewatch the video. Thanks, Tessa, for the cool backgrounds. <laughs> Cutest Queen said, I have an extremely emotional story suggestion. My mom didn't get me McDonald's. Aww. I'm sad for you. Next up on IO, Cutest Queen did not get her Big Mac today. I think that's your name. <laughs> Charlotte, your tea spillage has caused flooding in 16 states. You should be ashamed of yourself. Damn, I ain't ashamed. That's a conquest if I ever heard of one. Boo. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep watching, there's a playlist right over there for you. And obviously, you should leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, and I will see you in a future IO video.